Hey, I'm Renee, but you can call me Blade. And this is the Oh My God Show. And we are reading through the Bible. Now, the Bible is divided into two parts, the Old Testament and the New Testament. It has a total of 66 books. Now, each book is divided into chapters and verses. And now the Bible has the ability to change your life because certainly it has changed mine. And we are now going through the book of Exodus and we are in Exodus chapter 35. Now let's get right into it. Now Moses assembled the whole Israelite community and said to them, these are the things the Lord has commanded you to do. For six days work is to be done, but the seventh day shall be your holy day, a day of Sabbath rest to the Lord. Whoever does any work on it is to be put to death. Do not light a fire in any of your dwellings on the Sabbath day. Moses said to the whole Israelite community, This is what the Lord has commanded. From what you have, take an offering to the Lord. Everyone who is willing is to bring to the Lord an offering of gold, silver, and bronze, blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, and fine linen, goat hair, ram skin dyed red, and another type of durable leather, acacia wood, olive oil for the light, spices for the anointing oil, and for the fragrant incense and oil stone and other gems to be mounted on the ephod and the breast piece. All who are skilled among you are to come and make everything the Lord has commanded, the tabernacle with its tent and its covering, clasp, frames, crossbars, posts and bases, the ark with its pole and the atonement cover and the curtain that shields it, the table with its fold and all its articles and the bread and the presents, the lampstand that is for light with its accessories, lamp, lamps and oil for the light, the altar of incense with its poles and, and its poles, the anointing oil and the fragrant incense. The, the curtain for the doorway at the entrance to the tabernacle, the altar of burnt offering with its bronze grating, its poles and all its utensils, the bronze basin with all its stands, the curtains of the courtyard with its posts and bases, and the curtain for the en entrance to the courtyard, the tent pegs for the tabernacle and for the courtyard and their robes, the woven garments worn for ministering in the sanctuary, both the sacred garments for Aaron the priest and the garments for his sons when they served as priests. Then the whole Israelite community withdrew from Moses' presence and everyone who was willing and whose heart moved them came and brought an offering to the Lord for the work on the tent of meeting for all its service and for the sacred garments. All who were willing men and women alike came and brought gold, jewelry and all kinds, brooches, earrings, rings, and ornaments. They all presented their gold as a wave offering to the Lord. Everyone who had blue, purple, or scarlet yarn, or fine linen, or goat's hair, ram skins dyed red, or the du other durable leather brought them. Those presenting an offering of silver or bronze brought it as an offering to the Lord, and everyone who had acacia wood for any part of the work brought it. Every skilled woman spun with her hands and brought what she had spun, blue, purple, or scarlet yarn, or fine linen. And all the women who were willing and had the skill spun the goat hair. The leaders brought oil stones and other gems to be mounted on the ephod and breast piece. They also brought spices and olive oil for the light and for the anointing oil and for the fragrant incense. All the Israelites, men and women who were willing, brought to the Lord free will offerings for all the work the Lord, for all the work the Lord through Moses had commanded them to do. Then Moses said to the Israelites, See, the Lord has chosen Bazalel, son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah, and he has filled him with the Spirit of the Lord, of God, with wisdom, with understanding, with knowledge, and with all kinds of skills to make artistic designs for work in gold, silver, and bronze, to cut and set stones, to work in wood, and to engage in all kinds of artistic crafts. And he has given both him and Oha Lehab, son of Ahishamak, of the tribe of Dan, the ability to teach others. He has filled them with skills to do all kinds of work as engravers, designers, embroiderers in blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, and fine linen, and weavers, all of them skilled 
workers and designers. And that's it for chapter 35. We thank God for his word. His word is quick. It's powerful. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. Thank you, God, for your word, oh God, that is able to give us life, oh God, that is able to change our stories, our lives, and destiny. I thank you, oh God, that your word is healing, is love, is power, is might, oh God. We thank you for all that you do, all you have done in our lives. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. And remember, guys, just before you go, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell. And let's see what's going to happen as we go um, deeper into the scriptures. Bye. See you next time. I'm Blade and I'm cutting.